Hey guys, CC Guns here. Today I've got a review of one of my favorite discrete concealed carry bags, and that's the Vertex Commuter XL. Right here you've got a main compartment, and this is meant for your computer. You also have a zipper pouch right here, which is nice for charging cords. And you've got various pouches here as well. In the front, you have a molly webbing section and you can configure this um, all sorts of different ways. I like that they hide the molly webbing behind this panel because molly webbing is a dead giveaway that you're carrying a tactical firearm bag. This bag has really good support in the rear and it's a single sling type pack but it also has two carry handles. One right here and another right here. Now these are nice because sometimes you may not want to carry the sling and I often find that I carry the bag like this, like a briefcase almost. One of the coolest features about the Vertex bags are that they're discreet, but they have firearm specific features. This tab right here gives you fast um, deployment. So the idea is that you can go like this and rip the bag open fairly quickly. This is my 7.5 inch PDW build. This is an Aero Precision AR-15 build. And it also has other components. I've got the LWRC Ultra Compact PDW stock on it. Um, Bravo Company grip. These are really nice for SBRs. They have a really good angle. And then I've got the Geisley 7 inch rail and a 7.5 inch ballistic advantage barrel. I also have this dead air silencers flash hider and this thing works incredibly well for um, taming what would be a large flash. I've got the Troy aluminum vertical foregrip and on short builds like this I really like to have um, a vertical foregrip. It just makes operating the gun so much easier. And then I've got the Geisley Super Precision Optics Mount. And on this one, I've actually got the Hollow Sun Red Dot. And these Hollow Suns are excellent units. Let's see if I can see if I can get it on on camera. This reticle is not really wanting it's to pick up on camera. It's getting obscured. In person though, it's really clear. Anyway, this is an SBR now. I think the last time I made a video on the YouTube channel, it was a pistol, but currently an SBR. I really like aero precision components, guys. Their bolts, the ballistic advantage barrels are all excellent uh, quality. If you buy a barrel from Aero, if it's marked Aero, it's actually manufactured by their sister company, which is Ballistic Advantage. So they're both the same thing. If you're doing a custom build, Aero Precision Components are gonna be one of your best bets for the money. The reason that I built this 7.5 inch was solely to be um, a PDW type weapon that could utilize commonly available 5.56 ammunition and magazines. A lot of guys don't seem to get it that 5.56 can be used in smaller packages like this, um, but it should be obvious by now that there is a, a use for compact weapon systems chambered in 5.56 and in 
an indication of this is if you look at companies like Brugger and Tomit, they're making um, a PDW in 5.56 with a around an eight inch barrel. The SIG has the SIG Rattler and now they have it chambered in five inch in 5.56 as well as 300 blackout. So a lot of mainstream companies are offering compact guns with barrels as short as 7.5, even shorter in 5.56. Part of the reason for that guys is that, yeah, you're going to lose some of your um, ballistic performance when you shorten the barrel, especially when you drop below 10.3 inches on a 5.56 caliber weapon. You're gonna, your ballistics are gonna suffer some, but it's still a viable option and you have the advantage of being able to utilize commonly available magazines and ammunition that you most likely already have on hand. So sometimes it's nice to have a smaller 5.56 build in your collection if you already have complete rifles. Um, and that's the purpose of this. You know, this gun was purpose built to be put in a bag like this for discrete use as a PDW, something I can have on hand. It's an excellent truck gun, if you will. I'm not a big fan of quote unquote truck guns, but if I needed a gun in a vehicle, this would be a good option. And as you can see, it fits in this Vertex Commuter XL perfectly. And this video is kind of just an update on this SBR build and also kind of an informal casual review on this Vertex Commuter XL bag. It's definitely one of my favorite concealed carry bags for um, larger weapons. And if you, you know, if you have a, a small SBR, um, that's a little bit too big to, to fit in a backpack, this is a good solution. It can be carried as a briefcase or a sling. It's quite discreet and I like it. It's simple, it works. Guys, definitely check out Vertex. Check out Aero Precision. If you have any questions about this build or comments, like and comment below. And follow me on Instagram and YouTube at CC Guns. Thanks.